make a difference? How do you take what's working and make it better? How do you have a voice? How do you have a voice? How do you make it heard? How do you use what's inside of you? How do you use what's inside of you? To inspire them. How do you change the world? What are three types of energy transfers in photos? You teach. Teaching is calling you. Well, the Connecticut Education Association is doing its best to expand the minority teaching force. And joining us here today is CEA Executive Director Donald Williams, along with Westport teacher Faith Sweeney. Thank you both for being here. Thank you. Um, Donald, kind of explain the problem, if you will, first. Well, we have a real issue in terms of diversity in our teaching workforce. Mm -hmm. And we need to expand that. And we need to tackle it through proper recruitment and retention of teachers. There's a lot to unpack in there, but uh, it's something that the Connecticut Education Association has been committed to. And we're involved in a campaign right now to raise awareness for the teaching profession generally mm -hmm. and to attract more teachers of color. Sure, and um, Faith, tell us about your situation in Westport. Um, currently I work in Westport as a literacy coach mm -hmm. and um, it's predominantly white community. Mm -hmm. So um, I happen to be one of two ethnic minority teachers in our, in our school, mm -hmm. um, but the population of ethnic minority teachers is small. Sure. Um, the impact I feel though should be not only in high areas of where there are students that have you have a lot of students with ethnic minority backgrounds mm -hmm. but also in white communities you need to have um, a diverse teaching force. Sure. Can you uh, expand on that? Why is this necessary? Um, I feel like with everyday, the everyday experiences I have with students, mm -hmm. I'm building that connection and it's reducing their implicit biases that they may have mm -hmm. um, rather than making judgments on misconceptions or um, hearsay or stereotypes, they actually have people in their buildings where they can, you know, test their judgment sure, against sense. what they see in their personal lives. Right. Um, and it's, re it's really important because we are nurturing global citizens and if their community is not as diverse as the world, you want to make sure that you do give students that opportunity to experience working with diverse right. people. Makes a lot of sense. And Donald, I understand there's some sort of legislation that's behind this? Uh, we've supported a couple of bills in the past and in the current session uh, to recruit and retain more teachers of color. Um, and it starts at so many different levels. I, I don't want to leave out the part that having more administrators of mm -hmm. color mm -hmm. is very important too. As Faith said, a lot of times there's unconscious bias and that includes in the hiring process. Mm -hmm. So educating folks uh, about unconscious bias, very important, mm -hmm. but also having uh, educators of color throughout the profession, not just at the teaching level, but at the administrator level as well. Sure, it makes a lot of sense. And um, Faith, in Westport, do you deal with race issues? Yes, actually. Um, Currently, I'm working alongside uh, the school psychologist, and um, we've had a couple of racial incidents in our school, mm -hmm. and um, we have worked together to read books and have discussions that um, really face what students are seeing and, and saying. Um, and address it so that we can give them problem-solving strategies sure. and also really understand the history of why certain words are not acceptable and should not ever be said or mm -hmm. spoken. Um, you know, it, it, I teach in elementary, so I look at their um, actions as a learning opportunity. Mm -hmm. And so we've taken that time to really discuss like why is it important sure, to life respect lessons each other. Learning. Absolutely. And yes. um, Don, just lastly, how can teachers get involved? Are anyone interested? Well, anyone interested can support our efforts at uh, CEA. Go to our website, CEA.org. Uh, come to the legislature and testify in person or submit written testimony. And we're in contact with teachers all the time, letting them know how to do that. Very good. It's an important mission. Thank you yes. both for being here. Thank, Thank you. you. Sure.